So help you. After being sworn into office, it's time for the 115th Congress, led by Republicans, to get down to business. And at the top of their list, repealing Obamacare, one of President-elect Trump's key campaign promises. Vice President-elect Mike Pence will meet with the House GOP to discuss Obamacare. We'll focus on repealing and replacing Obamacare. Uh, we'll look forward to legislation that will give us the, uh, the tools to roll back the avalanche of red tape and regulation that have been stifling American jobs and growth. Even so, Democrats plan to put up a fight, and President Obama heads to Capitol Hill today to talk with congressional Democrats about protecting Obamacare. But Senate Republicans moved quickly Tuesday to get things started by introducing a budget resolution that will allow them to repeal Obamacare by a simple majority vote, something that Democrats cannot stop. Is there anything they can do to stop the Republicans, do you think? Let me think for a moment. Uh, no, uh, Pat, there, 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 there's, there's your answer. And look, a part of this is, look, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. And what do I mean by that? The, let's go back to this, uh, these two words that you're going to hear a lot about, budget reconciliation. Uh, you, you know those words, Pat, and you also know that when Obamacare was passed by the Democrats, it passed with 51 votes. It passed through budget reconciliation. And so that means that they didn't need 60 votes in the Senate to do anything. And that's exactly what's going to happen this time around on Obamacare. They don't need Democrats uh, support. They don't need 60 votes. Of course, Republicans have 52 votes in the Senate. And so the repeal will take place through a process known as budget reconciliation, where you only need a simple majority. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Now, they're not going to be, be able to repeal every single part of Obamacare, but they'll be able to repeal uh, the parts that relate to the budget. That's why it's called budget reconciliation. For, so, for example, the subsidies uh, will be gone. Uh, that will be repealed. The individual mandate most likely will be gone as well. And Medicaid uh, funding uh, will be either capped or, or, or scaled back. So that is a lot of the stuff uh, that will be repealed starting here in these first few weeks. How long do you think it's going to take the Republicans to put together an alternative? The sense up here in D.C. is two to three years, uh, and that might be lowballing it, Pat. Uh, there are folks up here on Capitol Hill that would like to actually see it to be four plus years. Now, uh, that's so much, so, so, so much, so, so, excuse me, I can't even say it, somewhat of a non-starter, if you will. Uh, but it's looking about two to three years, and that's why they're calling this repeal and delay. And what does that mean? It means repeal right away, but then delay the implementation of some sort of new system, and that could take two to three years.